Okay, I'm going to make a couple nozzles up for the pressure washer to wash the boiler out. And this is what we got. So I've measured it up. It looks like a simple job. The whole size, I don't think that matters. I need the right angle one that's going to squirt. Out this way instead of out the end. So I can get up between the sheets, stick it in the drain hole. I get up between the sheets. So I have to look around for a piece of brass or something. I'm going to make the body a little thicker because it's a high pressure going through there. This only has a, a, a pretty thin wall thickness back in the back, but I'm, I'm going to just put like a 3 16 hole in there. And then I'll have to put a side hole. Maybe I'll just put a couple side holes and I can stick it in there, kind of work it around. And do it that way. A couple one thirty second holes. Clean up between the sheets. <clears throat> and I ought to make a straight one too so I can get in and go into the drain hole and go up and down between the back head and the front of the firebox. So that's what we're going to do today. This is a Jacobs Rubber Flex Collet. And I have to take this ring off of here and uh, put a smaller sorry I'm using the phone put a smaller call it element in here call it fell on the ground this is a bigger one it's a lot of uh, seven eighths to one inch but I have a five eighths to a half, which I'm going to stick in there. And this is 9 16 material, so that'll work out okay. I'll put the cap back on. I can't do it with one hand. This is my Prototrack lathe. I've had this about eight years, I guess. I'm just going to write this little program up. Instead, I've got to check the system, it says. Emergency stop switch activated. Okay, that's done. You got to go to setup mode. You got to set your reference position. You got to set your maximum RPM. And uh, that's all. I'll let you see that. I'm going to move this carriage around so maybe we won't get that reflection up there off the lights. I can turn one of the lights off. I'll turn the light off, that's a little better. We'll go to mode, DRO, that's digital. I mean, that's a readout, using a readout. It's manual mode. Sort of. Okay. Now we got to go to program mode. Program. Go to beginning. I don't know if you can read that with this lens. I'll go in a little bit more, maybe. I'll probably be bumping the camera. Got to go back to DRO. This is the X, Z, uh, digital readout. But we don't need that now. We go to program, go to beginning. You can go one move at a time, or you can go in a cycle. In a cycle, you give it the part outline and a return to zero, or a return to starting point program. And, um, it will put your cut lines in and, and a finished cut, <coughs> so the cycle is nice. So you have X beginning, Z beginning. <coughs> so X, I'm going to start on the center line of the part of X0. Yeah. Can't hardly see what I'm doing here over here. It's too dark now. X0, absolute. So Z, 100 thousandths. This drops down automatically. Put one, 
absolute. You put 10 passes. Absolute. You're approaching from this way. That's the z-axis. I'm going to turn this light back on. Too dark. Approach z. Absolute. Too dark. RPM surface speed, it's got constant surface surface speed. So I'll put 200. Absolute gives you surface speed per minute. So you SFF, SFM, absolute. Speed per minute or revolution, I'll give it 0 0.003. That's inches per minute, tool number one. Absolute, finish cut. Five, five thousandths, absolute. There's a, this is the finished cut. You can program a different feed and speed. I'm going to use pretty much the same thing. Just the, um, 200, absolute. Two inches feet per uh, revolution. Absolute. Finish tool number one. Absolute. <clears throat> now we're going to turn over here. You can see the turn. I hope you can read that. You give your end point. So you, you can go X. You can put zero absolute or. Okay, you got to put absolute. Or you can put 0.1 minus incremental. And you do it the easiest way. Incremental is a move distance from here to here to here, from here to here, then from here to here, then from here to here. And incremental, you go from here to here, or from your zero. It's an absolute distance from your zero point, if that makes sense. The Z end, we're not going to move Z, so we can put zero incremental. I mean, X. Uh, Z. You're going to move Z back to the zero point, which is on front of the part. So we'll put Z zero absolute. No chamfer. Put zero absolute. Cycle turn. <coughs> We're at the face now in the center. So we have to go out 400 di diameter. So we go X 400, X point four. Absolute. Uh, we can put Z zero incremental because Z is not moving. Incremental. If you want a chamfer out there, yes. We want like a 10,000 chamfer or radius. I'm going to put a radius in there. And a radius you put incremental. And it gives you 10,000 Conrad with connecting radius. We'll go back to cycle turn. Go back to the shoulder here. <clears throat> X is the same as 400,000, so you can put X zero incremental. But your Z axis is, is different, so you got to go uh, minus 120, minus 0.12. Whoops. Minus 0.12 absolute. We don't need a radius there, so we put zero. And we can look at your program whenever you want. You hit look here, you can look at your program, what, what it's going to do, and get a good idea if you're right. But look again and go back to your program. Now, this has a little bit of a chamfer here on this diameter. So, but we got to go out to 455 on the x axis, but a straight turn. Cycle turn, X.455, absolute, and we know, we don't know where that point is, but it's about 15 thousandths away. So I'm just going to put minus 0.015, 
incremental. Zero absolute for your chamfer radius. Now we go back to cycle turn. <coughs> X end, we're going to go back one inch. No, I'm sorry, X, we're not moving, so we put zero incremental. Z, we go minus one point absolute. And we can look at that. Let's look. I haven't put it in yet. Absolute. All right, let's look at it. Okay, then we're going back an inch. And I'll put an incremental move to get the tool away from the part here. So here we'll go cycle turn. X. Point one incremental that'll bring the tool out and we go z0 incremental and we'll look at it have to insert it zero we'll look at it there we go now we have a couple rapid moves you've got cycle position go x zero incremental because we don't have to move in and out we're just going to get away from the part and go out to your start point x zero incremental then z will go to point one absolute absolute and you can hit end cycle and it'll complete the cycle yes now if we want to go to set up toolpath you can see all the cuts here. I'll get up closer to it. There's all your cuts. And if it looks right, it looks okay. You're, you're pretty sure you're not going to crash it. It's easy to make a mistake, a mistake. You have to pay attention. So that's the outer body of the, uh, the tool we're making. And now we'll, we'll run the first part. the first ring, so I'm going to do that manually. to solve this material off.
All right, next we have to cut these things off and uh, turn the other end down, drill some holes, and put some side nozzles through because uh, these things get between the sheets and the firebox. They, the uh, pressure water has to go sideways. I have to put them in there and clean them. Maybe I'll put three holes in one so I don't have to rotate it so far. But that's all for now.